Deborah, thank you very much for the introduction. I want to thank Henry and David for the, in the invitation and opportunity to be here today. Um, we just heard about the media landscape from Joe. In a few moments, we'll hear about the financing side. It's my pleasure to talk with you about telecommunications, which I think is the most exciting business of the information age. Today, we have a diverse array of companies, telecommunications companies, cable companies, wireless companies, satellite companies, even power companies and municipalities that are investing billions of dollars to expand and upgrade the nation's communications infrastructure. In doing so, they are enhancing our global competitiveness in the information age, and they are laying the foundation for a new generation of American innovation and entrepreneurism. This is mission critical work for the companies that I represent and that Joe represents, and it's also mission critical work for our country. We see that recognition developing in Washington today. We recently had a change of power on Capitol Hill. We're heading into a presidential election. Typically, these are times where there is an emphasis on differences of opinion. So it's encouraging to see Democrats and Republicans agreeing on the importance of broadband deployment, the importance of ensuring that the promise of broadband be available to all Americans, and the importance of being placed on policies that will assure continued investment in ever more sophisticated networks that can keep up with our nation's growing need for speed. Indeed, new applications are requiring ever more bandwidth. Think about this. According to the latest estimates, by 2010, so three years from now, the web traffic generated by 20 homes, just 20 homes, will equal the entire capacity demands that were placed on the whole internet in 1995. This expanding use of the internet presents a challenge, but it's a good challenge. It means that more and more Americans are using broadband communications. The United States, in fact, has today the largest broadband population on Earth, approaching 60 million people. And with competition among broadband platforms, speed is increasing, prices are going down, and penetration is growing up. For example, African American home broadband adoption has nearly tripled in the past two years, going from 14% to 40%. Among Latinos, 66% with home internet access now use broadband connections. Now, this isn't to say that there isn't still progress that needs to be made to drive broadband penetration. Certainly there is. One area of focus needs to be in rural America, where the cost of broadband networks is so much higher. There, in particular, there is a role for public-private partnerships to map the gaps in coverage, to work together for fuller deployment, and to address issues that impact broadband adoption, such as the fact that today, still today, one in four U.S. homes lacks a personal computer. That makes it hard for broadband to make a difference. In addition to greater broadband deployment, we are also seeing more being done with broadband connections. We are beginning to see the tremendous promise of broadband. We work over broadband connections. We keep in touch with loved ones. We buy music and download songs. We watch videos and entertainment. And new cultural diversity is emerging in broadband entertainment. For example, Verizon Fios is now up to something like 50 channels of diverse programming, and it continues to grow. This is exciting, but the truth is we have barely scratched the surface of broadband's full potential for our economy, for our quality of life. Broadband can improve health care, education, and the environment. It can create jobs. With regard to health care, secure, automated medical records can save lives, reduce human error, and dramatically control costs. Broadband can make possible a revolution in patient care 
particularly for those with chronic illnesses who can benefit from regular in-home monitoring. With regard to education, we can put bright young minds together with our best teachers, no matter where they live, and use innovative, interactive new tools to ignite their knowledge. With regard to the environment, more sophisticated telecommuting options can create opportunities for young parents who want to stay close to home. Advanced broadband technology can keep more cars off the road, helping us trade in freeway time for family time. It can reduce our dependence on foreign oil and contribute to a more sustainable future for the planet. And finally, broadband means jobs and the new information economy, as many as 1.2 million new American jobs. So it is important to keep the focus on investment, on deployment, on extending broadband's reach to all Americans. It is important to avoid unnecessary internet regulation and to advance policies that welcome innovation and creativity in a marketplace that welcomes everyone who has a dream. That's what this conference is about, and for that reason, I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you very much.